Hi, I'm Jeff Bernstein, and I'm a professor of political science at Eastern Michigan University. Um, I've been on the faculty here for 23 years, um, teaching courses in American politics, public opinion and elections, and research methods. Um, Eastern Michigan is where I've spent my entire career, and I really love nothing more about Eastern than getting to teach the students that I teach and getting to learn from them and to direct them in their work and their research as much as I get to do. Um, welcome to my little show here, Tuesday Tea with Dr. B. Um, I know that you can't come visit our campus right now and see for yourself how special our campus is. So I thought I'd invite some of my friends from the university to come and talk about Eastern, what they do and why they like working here. And also to offer some advice to our incoming students, to our returning students, and to those of you who might be thinking whether Eastern is right for you. Um, I hope you'll enjoy meeting my colleagues, hearing how committed we are to students and also hearing from us that no matter what the fall semester looks like, and we don't quite know what it will look like, it's going to be memorable and it's going to be special. And by the way, if you have any questions about Eastern or you just want to talk about what your time at Eastern could look like, um, my email address is on the screen. Feel free to send me a note. I'd love to talk with you. So my guest today is Professor Harriet Lindsay. Um, professor Lindsay is a professor of chemistry at EMU and is also faculty associate for undergraduate research. So, Harriet, what exactly does a faculty associate for undergraduate research do? Excellent question, Jeff. So, um, it's, it's, a, it's a fun job. So, what I spend most of my time doing is finding resources for students and for faculty to collaborate on projects outside of the classroom. Those projects can be political science projects, they can be science projects, they can be creative projects in art or in music, in theater. Um, and so I work with faculty one-on-one -on -one and students one-on-one -on -one to locate resources, prepare proposals to acquire those resources. Um, and then I chair a committee that I know you're familiar with that awards um, a grant called the Undergraduate Research Stimulus Program. And so that provides money for students to work one-on-one, -on -one, sort of like a scholarship, for students to work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty mentor on a research project um, during a semester. And those projects, they, they pay real money. They pay real money. So the award is actually $2,000 that students get for a semester and they get, they get paid that money hourly to work on the project. Um, yeah, and so those results, typically wind up as presentations at our undergraduate research conference, the undergraduate symposium. Um, they often also wind up as presentations at uh, conferences, maybe a psychology conference or political science conference. Um, and occasionally students are co-authors on papers with their faculty advisors as a result of, of the work that they've done. You know, I've served obviously with you on that committee for a couple of years, and there are just some extraordinary projects that we've seen come through. There really are. Um, we've seen a lot of diversity. And so oftentimes when people think of research, they think of science research. And so we do have a lot of science research going on, but we have we see research and creative projects from across campus. So pretty much every semester we'll see either a theater project, or maybe a couple of theater projects, an art project, a music project, lots of projects from social sciences, so history, um, political sciences, and then social work, psychology. So really any discipline at EMU um, can be, any, any student in any discipline can apply for these awards. Um, they're, they're not dependent on grade point average either. So any student who has a faculty mentor and an interest and time um, and commitment is, is eligible for this award. So what, what is it about doing research as an undergraduate that you think really contributes a lot to the college experience? What, what is it about research? So I think there are two important pieces there. There's, there's learning beyond the classroom, to use our general education turn of phrase. So it's an opportunity for students to do a deep dive into a discipline. They can take knowledge that they gain in the classroom and then go apply that to some kind of project. Um, to create something new or to test some theory. Um, so that's one aspect of it. And that's, it, it, you know, they'll put a lot of work into that and they'll have the opportunity to see that work um, borne out in the results of the project, um, which, is, which is a really powerful thing to sort of see a project from, from beginning to end. The second piece is they get to know a member of the faculty really well. And so the relationship that students 
develop that they forge with their faculty mentor can be one that lasts a lifetime. Um, you, you share um, all kinds of ideas, so you get to share sort of um, intellectual contributions and, and to get to know each other as, as colleagues is just is really powerful. Um, I, you could speak to this too, but students that I've mentored in my research lab are, are students I stay in contact with, they're friends. Um, you know, I've been at EMU almost as long as you have, and I have students that I still stay in contact with 15 years after they've left my lab. So it's a, it's a really I powerful love talking experience. about the grand students that I have, you know, when I'm yes, my yes. like, you know, I'm who I was mentoring at the beginning of my career, you know, some of them are in their 40s now and they have kids. And, and I, what I love is just looking at the kids and how they look exactly like how their parents did. Right. Back when they were <laughs> doing yes, with yes, them. yes. So and the, their parents are going to have to have to deal with, um, you know, what you dealt with when you dealt with the students. So, yeah, there's a little bit of revenge there. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. You know, and also I think for students, um, certainly one of the things I found when I was a student and I think our students here find is there's probably few things you can do on campus more important than getting to know a faculty member and really having people who will write letters of recommendation for you, who will guide you in making those right. hard decisions in your life. Um, I think that's really very much of an underrated part of the college experience. And I think we at Eastern do that particularly well. I think you're exactly right. And that's that's not something that you often find on our recruiting brochures that, you know, students get to know their faculty, but they, they really do. I think our faculty are a unique lot in that we just, we are really, really committed and interested in getting to know our students. Um, it's, I, it, for most of us, it's a reason why we're at EMU. That's what we really love. And it's in the DNA of the place. Yep. 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 All right, you want to do a few quick, fun lightning round questions? Yes. All right, here we go. Throw a quick okay. few at you. Okay, soup or salad? Soup. Okay. Who should play you in a movie about your life? Tina Fey. <laughs> you can really see that. Definitely. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Totally. Star Wars or Star Trek? Uh, Star Wars. Favorite element on the periodic table? Carbon. Organic chemistry. <laughs> should have thought that you would say that. <laughs> right. All right. Toilet paper, should it go over the roll or under the roll? Over. Okay. Would you rather mow the lawn or shovel snow? I'd rather mow the lawn. Okay. Yeah. Um, huh. All right. What is your favorite spot on EMU's campus? I think it would have to be the basement atrium in the science complex. Um, on the So we have these million year old rocks um, from Michigan that have been held in. I don't know if you've been there, but it's a great gathering spot. Um, we have all kinds of receptions there. Um, there's a lot of natural light. It's just a good congregating place. So yeah. huh. I don't think I've been there. I it's really cool. You should come check it out. The rock. Yeah. I remember hearing, um, at, I think it was at Gerald Ford's eul uh, funeral, one of his kids was talking in the eulogy how when their dad would have to go to the Capitol and work on Saturdays, they would play hide and seek in Statuary Hall in the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. You know, for, for a political person like myself, just like, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <cool. laughs> they were just playing hide and seek. Yeah. So, um, what makes EMU special? I think the relationships that students and faculty have. I, 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 I think that is what um, truly makes us unique. Um, we have we have small class sizes for a place that is as large as we are. Um, we have faculty who are very very committed to working one on one with students. Um, faculty who get, who make a real effort to get to know students even in their larger classes. So um, and we have terrific students who um, who make coming to work just a, just a joy every day. So I would say the relationships we have. I, I agree with you. It's always you know one of the. It's one of the great things about about our school and I know having, you know, worked with so many students over the years and the two of us work on undergraduate symposium stuff over the years. I mean, it's these are the kinds of things really that it's what you should be getting when you go to college. It's not just about can you accumulate 124 credits, check off enough boxes and graduate, but do you get that great learning experience? Do you get that opportunity to really learn and push yourself in that way? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Folks, um, fall semester's coming, and as we said, it's there's a whole lot that's still up in the air, but one thing that is not up in the air is join us at Eastern. You are gonna find professors who are incredibly devoted to you, to your work, and to helping to make your learning experiences at our university 
as special and as memorable as they can be. So um, I'm Jeff Bernstein. Thanks for joining me on Tuesday Tea with Dr. B.